Right then, prepare to have your mind blown away. So this is kind of like the, the understanding of where differentiation comes from. How it's the gradient of a tangent at a point. So the idea is that I have this gradient of a chord, which is dead easy to work out. So I've got one point which is x, and another point which is x plus h. I'm going to scrap these x naught bits, because they're not in the formula. So I'm going to scrap out these little x's. X naught, the naught bit on the x naught. So I'm scrapping out this. So the I'm here as well. Let's see. So the idea is the vertical difference distance up here, this one here, is f of x plus h, so the y value at b minus the y value at a, which is f of x. Okay? So that's what that bit there does. And then this distance across here is x plus h minus x, which is just h, which is what that's done. So the gradient of that chord, so the gradient of the chord, will be f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. <clears throat> so that's the gradient of the chord bit done. Now what I do is this thing called a limiting process. I pull B along the curve until it's so close to A, I don't know, I can't tell the difference, but it is, it's there. So this bit here is just the gradient of the curve, or the chord. Remember, a chord is just a line joining two points. But well, this bit here is my limiting process. And what this does, it says, aha! I'm bringing the point so close to it, you can't tell the difference. So that's that bit. Get that, miss that one. Right, okay. We don't like this because it's a bit full on, but never mind. Here we go. Right. So I've got a point where the x value is x. Now if I put x into the equation, it gives me x, comma, the coordinate will be 2x squared plus 3x. Now we don't like that. Mm. So then I've got a point which is close to it. Where the x value is x plus h. So the coordinate of that, instead of x, I've got x plus h. So instead of x, I've got x plus h. So that's going to be two lots of x plus h squared. Squared should be blue plus three lots of x plus h. This is the bit we don't like. The fact that I've got a general point, which is x comma 2x squared plus 3x, and then I replace the x's with x plus h. So what I had was a curve with just with two points that are close to it. That's all I've got. I'm going to work out the gradient between them two points. So the gradient of the chord so you know that's a change going up divided by a change going across. So my gradient of my chord will be two lots of x plus h all squared plus three lots of x plus h. So that's my my f of x plus h, and then minus my f of x. So then minus my 2x squared plus 3x. All that's divided by my change going across, which is x plus h minus x. 
So that's where the H comes from, on the bottom. So the gradient of my chord will be, if I expand the bracket, it's two lots of x squared plus 2 uh, hx. Write that neat. There you go, sit down again. Plus h squared plus 3x plus 3h minus 2x squared minus 3x all over h. So my gradient and my chord, if I expand that bracket, 2x squared plus 4hx plus 2h squared plus 3x plus 3h minus 2x squared minus 3x all over h. Right. <laughs> How messy does that look? So let's see what cancels out. We get to this point, anything without a H should cancel itself out. So I've got a 2x squared cancelling a 2x squared. I've got a plus 3x cancelling a minus 3x. So anything without H should cancel out. It's a check there to make sure that's found in the brackets. Okay. Anything without H should cancel out there. So it leaves me, this gradient of the chord, it leaves me 4hx plus 2h squared plus 3h all over h. The h will cancel there and it will just give me 4x plus 2h plus 3 there. Now what that is, that is my gradient of my chord. It's my f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So I've done the gradient of the chord. I now need to do the limiting process. So I'm going to write down that dy by dx, I have to write this down, is the limit as h tends to zero, so that means I'm pulling the points close together, of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So that's the equation in the formula book. So dy by dx is the limit as h tends to zero, so that's dragging the point towards a point one comma one. And I'm going to replace this bit, because this bit is my gradient of my chord, with this part here. Uh, what do you mean actually, so it stands out. 4x plus 2h plus 3. Now it tells you that h tends to 0. It doesn't actually hit 0, but it gets so close to 0, you can't tell the difference. So anything with a H term cancels itself out. This is what a limiting process does. And then it gives me dy by dx is 4x plus 3. Yeah. So that is first principles. Look at that. And if you look, if you differentiate that, it is 4x plus 3. Just from putting the power at the front and taking one off the power. But well, this is the actual mad maths involved in it. There's a question for you to have a go at, have a go at it. I'm going to stop the video there because I've got another one which has a point. So this was a general point, which is a hard one. When you put x in and you get 2x squared plus 3x out. Don't worry if you've not got a clue. People generally don't have a clue. Bye-bye.